In this video, I am going to go over the acid salt process of making flash paper. Now here in front of me, you can see I have several pieces of cotton. These are just pieces of a cotton t-shirt. I also have 50 grams of potassium nitrate, and I have some sulfuric acid right here. Now on my website, it's listed to use 25 grams of potassium nitrate as well as 40 milliliters of sulfuric acid. So here I am doing a double batch. That also makes this cotton weigh out at five grams. Here I'm going to measure out 80 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Now it's very important that the next step be done outdoors or under a fume hood. The next step of this experiment is going to create some acid vapor, which is why I have moved outside. Now I am going to add my 50 grams of potassium nitrate to my acid. Introducing the potassium nitrate to the sulfuric acid creates nitric acid. This nitric acid is what is going to react with our cotton to produce nitrocellulose. The nitrate must be stirred in until it is fully dissolved. At this point, the cotton should be spread out in a glass tray and the nitrating acids poured over them. On a warm summer day, this tray should be in an ice bath to keep it from overheating. Being in the middle of winter right now, I'm not concerned about it. These cotton strips should now be left to nitrate for about an hour. Now as a general rule in chemistry, when diluting acids, acid should always be added to water to avoid splashes. In this case, because there are so many solidified potassium compounds in the acid, I'm not worried about splashbacks, and I can go ahead and add my water to this. Now these sheets should be rinsed with water several times to dilute the acid, and then one final time with sodium bicarbonate solution to neutralize what remains. All right, so I've come back inside after rinsing these sheets several times with water, and they're now neutral enough that I can touch them, but they still contain some trace acid. So what I'm going to do is neutralize the rest with this sodium bicarbonate solution. Now this is going to remove any remaining acid. All that will be left to do after this is to rinse the sheets one more time in water and let them dry. Here is a piece of the flash paper after it has been dried. You notice it has a brown color, and this is because of contaminations in the cotton. A higher quality cotton shirt would not have this brown color. 